Hi, I am Mike of Near Enough Dice. This is the Kerbal Space Program. We are on Kerbin. Been a while. Um, you can see that the Scatterer mod has made uh, the mountains look nice and pretty off in the background. Uh, this may also be the Kerbal Enhancement, I'm not sure. Uh, that's why I got nice clouds and stuff. But you can see everything actually kind of fades back into the background. But that is not what I'm here today for. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to be doing in Kerbal uh, right now. Um, I've done a lot of Kerbal hopping, uh, hopping around the Mun. And I'm kind of, you know, while there's still science I want to do and places I want to get, I'm not too sure this is what I really want to do uh, with this little Let's Play. So I'm not, really not quite sure what I want to do next. Um, but there's a thing that I've, I've had for a while, the Kerbal Attachment System, and I haven't really played with that. So I've made a very, very silly um, rig just to have a little play and, and get some idea of what you can do with the Kerbal Attachment System, um, other than sending Kerbals out on um, EVA. Now, sending Kerbals out on EVA is actually a very useful thing to be able to do, um, because as you can see, I've been able to repair uh, things on my my craft up to and including you know fixing the legs that had gone wonky. Um, other problems have arisen in that um, Chaos now doesn't seem to believe that I have the Infernal Robotics mod attached, or at least it doesn't on that craft. I have tested it on other on other craft and it all works fine. So I don't know what's going on with it at the moment. So very silly test rig, very very silly test rig. Um, I have, uh, this is just a, um, a remote guidance unit. It's the biggest one you get on, I have no idea why I use that one. I just kind of went, what's the most expensive one? Because it's a silly thing I'm not going to be doing, actually doing anything with. So I'm just going to get the most expensive one. Let's just slap that on. And I've got two winches. These are two parts from a Kerbal Attachment System that I haven't used yet. Um, and uh, this one down here, this one is attached to a connector, which is ex the exact same uh, connector port that I was using to hook up pipes and stuff on um, the MUN. And that connector port is now attached to this module, which is in fact empty. But this is like a crew module. So you can imagine this represents some kind of craft or something. And this one has got a harpoon on it. So if I right click on this, right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go with show GUI, because you can do other things. I can do it all from the right click, but I'll, I'll use the GUI first. I'm just gonna rename these, like this top one, I'm gonna rename that module, so I know what that's called. And this one, I'm gonna call harpoon. And there's also a little camera down here that you can see, uh, which is a nav cam, which is a very simple camera. So what I'm first going to do, I'm going to take the module one, and I'm going to, I can hit extend, and it'll, it will extend. And as you can see, you can see it kind of wobbling down as it went, and stuff like that. So I can lower a thing down like this. So you can imagine some kind of sky crane type arrangement. We've got, you know, like the Curiosity rover, there was there was a sky crane and it actually lowered, you know, Curiosity down on a string. And then I can hit unplug. Oh no, yeah, unplug. And you notice the camera moves. Because when I, when they were plugged, this was all one thing, and therefore the center of gravity of the whole thing was down here. And now the center of gravity is around here. So I can now um, hit that. So that's going to retract the, the, the winch. So there you go. So now a module. So this could be like a rover that was set down by a sky crane. Oh, it could be any number of things. So I'd be, yeah, you know, you'd be able to make craft that can do all sorts of interesting kind of kind of stuff. Um, 
Now I'm going to switch to that nav cam. And as you can see, it's right underneath that harpoon. And I've got some Infernal Robotics bits set up. So let's use, oop, wrong way. I want to go this way. So I can basically use this to aim my harpoon. And that's about central. And in theory, I can go side to side. But I don't actually want to because it's all centered. And I can hit eject, which is instead of, if I hit just hit release. Oh, that doesn't, that's not actually helping. That's actually the, um, <laughs> that's actually the module one. If I just hit release on the harpoon, it's just going to fall straight down. So I'm going to re retract both of those. And instead I'm going to eject it, which will actually hit it fairly... Yes! <laughs> now the, I have to admit, that was a bit more... You know, it's throwing the thing around rather more than I would expect to be possible. And I don't know whether it just shoots out with that kind of force, or whether this is just because this is an empty lander can with nothing in it, it's just that light. <laughs> you can see it gets thrown around quite a bit. Uh, and so now I can retract. Well, that's quite quick. Let's, let's slow down a bit. Put that in the middle. Maybe release a little bit. Whoa. Hey. I'm surprised it is in fact surviving all of this nonsense. This may be a limitation on the physics engine. Maybe I need two harpoons. You know. And there we are, we are nice, now nicely attached. So that is a system. So uh, you know, I've got these two systems on the same thing. You wouldn't want them on the same rig normally. This is just, just for me playing around. But um, you have the possibility of having items attached to uh, you know, attached to like a sky crane or, or some kind of rig like that. And you know, you lower your thing down nice and gently onto the ground, and then you release it so it can go off in its own way. So that might be a way of, of getting a rover down onto a surface without um, damaging it. And it means that the rover itself wouldn't need to have engines uh, to, to fly itself down. It could have a separate bit that flies it down, drops it, and then heads off. Um, and the other option with the, with the harpoon attached, there's also a grappling hook, I think there's also an electromagnet. Uh, the other possibility is to have the ability to fire out at an item which did not in fact have the capability of um, being attached. It didn't have any, any way of attaching. You could harpoon it and grab it. Um, I think you can harpoon asteroids, but I'm not sure. I, I clearly can't harpoon the ground around here. Um, I say clearly, actually. I'm, I'm not sure that he's as clear as. Um, if I eject with a harpoon, he just goes straight. I'll, I'll demonstrate this, in fact. So let's release. So we're going to lower the capsule. You notice that though there's there's ten there's there's tension, you know I've lot now I've now you know I've now released the tension. Um, you know distance before strain, so there's no strain in this. But it, in in real life you'd see the cable start to kind of flop about, but you don't see that. So I can undock it now, I think. 
Oh, no. Detach? Is that what I want? Yeah, okay, so I've detached it. So I can now, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to fire it off into the wild beyond it. So I'm going to, let's raise ourselves up. Oop, other way. So I now eject that. Oh, aha, oh, mm, interesting. Maybe what, because I've ejected it before and it just flew off into the distance and nothing happened. I wonder if that's because I used an unattached. So this, this used to have a, of a this, this connect port down there it used to be attached to that and now it isn't. So if I eject the hub, the module, no, that is also attaching. Ooh. So I'm now breaking everything, which is rather hilarious. Let's... How interesting. That is not what I thought happened at all. I, I think it's because I didn't have an end on it. Because that one's attached to something. I'm not quite sure what. Right, so let's bring that one up. Actually, I think that I think the, the one on the end, the, the one that used to hold the module, has just gone straight through into the ground. Because it's gone 50 meters away. This is, all, this is all a learning experience. It's gone 50 meters away. So I think that's gone into the ground. And is now way down underneath the ground. So I'm having to winch it up. And it's only when it gets to about 10 meters you're going to start seeing it actually appear. There we go. Ah, we, there, we go there we go. So the harpoon sticks. That is interesting. I do not know that. Right, so let's... I'm going to use the, the module one again. So this this is just a winch, doesn't have anything on the end of it. Yeah, you see it goes straight through into the ground. Whereas the harpoon does not. How fascinating. And you can see it's doing all sorts of weird things, like it's, it's swinging backwards and forwards because it's not actually touching anything uh, that actually involves the physics. Whereas the harpoon... Uh, which I think the harpoon may have its own problems actually. Uh, the harpoon is probably not attached properly. Yeah, there we go. So the harpoon wasn't able to line up properly with the, the ejector port, so it wasn't able to, to come all the way in. So now it's locked in. Ah. Oh, what have I done? So I've actually got, I don't know why I closed that up. I've got a lateral and a vertical. I'm not bothering with the, the lateral. But if I fire the harpoon, that does connect to the ground. It doesn't necessarily stick on it because it didn't shoot it right. I went new, so I can now bring it up. And I think it is, in fact, sticking. Uh, well, I've got some slack to pull up. <laughs> you, you can't see the slack because it's just not drawn that way. Um, So now it's it's actually sticking on the ground as it as it gets pulled in. Oh, this is really cool. So this gives me all sorts of interesting options that I can use maybe to make some interesting craft. Um, especially if I start chasing asteroids, and, uh, I, which I don't think I'm going to do. But if I if I did, um, it would probably be quite handy to be able to. Um, oh, let's go the other way. Oh, have I just attached? There we go. I think it temporarily tried to attach to the um, the module there. So by pointing it down, it's now going to be able to hook back in. 
And now if I switch with the minus key back to my um, whoop, let's get down again. Whoop, that's not, that's not look good. Yes. <laughs> so there you go. Kerbal attachment system. So Kerbal Attachment System enables you to grab things that you wouldn't be able to grab, release things you wouldn't ordinarily be able to release, and uh, generally do some interesting things. So there you go, that is stuff I've learned today. That was slightly pointless, but funny. So there you go, that was a very simple short thing. I'm just playing around and being silly. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Do hit like and subscribe. Be enjoying the videos. Come visit neilandlifedice.com. Uh, we're also on Facebook and Twitter. Find us there. And until next time, reach the stars and play around with winches.